and um, today we're going to be uh, showing you how to upgrade your CPU, your processor. Now this is the fastest processor that you can put in a Dell 1545. This is a T9900. It's running 3.06 gig or megahertz. But anyways, here's the um, back of your laptop. First thing you want to do though, I guess, is pull your battery out, right? Then you want to roll it over as a precaution here and push your power button a few times. Hold her there just a little bit. That's That way you know it's uh, there's no power in there. And, um, then you got this little access panel on the back. It's very plainly cut out. You just got to take your screws out around there. And then after that, it should just pop right off. And then you got your panel off. Okay? All right. Your processor will live right in there. You have to take your heat sink out. All right, to do that, there's four screws, excuse me, five screws. And they're plainly marked as well. I mean, they're not marked, but you can see what you got to do. There's a pattern of four in a square. I'll show you when I'm done here. And then there's one on the end. And this gives you a good chance to clean out this heat sink as well. Have it in and your fan and all your goodies in there. Okay, and then you just carefully lift it out. Oh yeah, I got Furbies living in there. And this isn't un unusual to have uh, junk in the back of that. Because it literally it's a vacuum cleaner. It just kind of just sucks it in. Too bad it doesn't blow it out, but it doesn't. All right, hang on one sec. I gotta get a little screwdriver here. And then we'll go on and show you how to get that old CPU out of there. I mean, processor. There it is right there. There will be one screw on the back of this. It doesn't unscrew. It just kind of turns about half a turn. That's it. Now take note. On your processor, there is a little uh, let me pull it out. Right there. I don't know if you could see there. Right there in the corner, there is a little arrow. That arrow points To this corner over here with your laptop up there like so all right so let me go ahead here and well I got it all apart I'm going to go blow all the out of this thing, all the all the garbage. Be right back. All right, folks, we're all cleaned up. And uh, before you start this process, get yourself some Arctic Silver 5. And um, there's a lot of uh, mixed opinion on what's best. This is the best. And yes, you can comment below, but it's still going to be, this is the best. I've heard a lot about them on my Dell videos, on my um, computer videos. Um, there's the um, armchair guys out there that um, do this every day for a living and um, 
correct me every time and I'm like yeah okay it works it's old and it still works so I must not be doing anything too wrong right all right get yourself your new processor and uh, take note of where your arrow is and uh, just put it right on in there all right it's with one finger very carefully put it right on top of the processor hold her down not firm just hold her down and tighten that little screw and that little screw right there just the retainer that keeps the um, CPU in place all right and there'll be your old one and you can store that right up in their uh, container your new one came in all right there it is this is the, now going to be the fastest processor available for a 1545 so that'll be good huh all right and then you take your arctic silver now you don't need a whole lot of this barely barely any in fact and you just barely need any this is just transfers the heat you want enough to where it, it's got enough to where it won't dry out you know what I'm saying and do your uh, graphics card as well there a little bit there your GPU okay that's about it other than putting your heat sink back in there and that's just a matter of reversing what you did and you can't get this part wrong and here's how it how it looks you got the one on this end let me get this so I can see what I'm showing you there we go get the one on this end and then you got your pattern of four and you just put your uh, little radiator right in that slot and it should look like that when it goes in and then you take your screwdriver and in a crisscross pattern you tighten them four those four screws you want to do one and then cross over doing it and then you know back and, you know what I'm saying crisscross them that way you get equal force all right and then you want to do the one on the end last and that's pretty much it guys and girls and then you just put your cover back on but yeah, while you're inside here, blow all the Furbies out of there. Because all the computer is, is just a vacuum cleaner, really. It sucks junk in, and it, and it can't get rid of it. Tighten your screws on your panel. Alright. And you take your battery and put it back in. And go play it's done all right now one thing here real quick there's a whole lot of debate on these 1545s 1526 and many you know a few other Dell models rather you should upgrade and update your BIOS all right I leave mine alone I've upgraded two or three of these and um, a 13 works fine now a 14 I have heard that your keyboard starts having trouble, your monitor will start having trouble. I've heard various things about A14 on a Dell 1545. You can take it for what it is. I've never tried to ruin one. I've never done it because I didn't want to risk it. But I have heard even on the Dell forums online, there's people talking about the keyboard having trouble. And anywho, I just leave the A13 alone. It runs. I've upgraded them before and it, they, it runs the processor fine. I've got no problems. All right, so get yourself a 
T9900 off of uh, eBay and upgrade your Dell 1545. While you're at it, grab yourself some RAM. Take care. Love y'all. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.